So uh, this is my boy drawer and um, it's kind of a bit of a jumbled mess. So I'm not really sure how I can sort this any better. I think I'm going to try and just put different collections together, see what I have for collections or whether it's mostly just a randomness of. So this is Little Dude. Um, I know for instance all this stuff here um, goes together. This is a really old. Uh, it's called Zach's Life. Does anyone remember this from uh, Little Yellow Bicycle? So I know I have quite a bit of that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to try and put all of that together. And then the things that are kind of like that I have a lot of, I'll put on a binder wing, ring. So those all are a collection. So we'll put, keep those together. Okay, there's another more little dudes, so that can go with that. Uh, I believe these are just random stickers. Um, let's see. Oh, see, this is chipboard, but it's boy. So I wonder if I should keep this with the boy. I think I'm going to keep this with boy rather than put it with chipboard. So I might take out some of that chipboard that I was showing in the last little bit of that video and put it with the boy chipboard if there's um, boyish ones there. This was a set of stickers I bought from Close to My Heart. Uh, so those are kind of random, uh, random chipboard. Um, these are kind of like little screws. This is just some extra die cuts from a kit I did. So I think all these kind of random ones I'll maybe put on a binder ring as well. Oh, I thought there was another collection that I have here. I think. No. Uh, oh yeah, I think that's some cocoa vanilla. Oh, this goes with that Zach's life, so that'll go over here. Yeah, I think I have some cocoa vanilla stuff. Oh, I do. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to put all of that together on a binder ring, I think, if I have enough binder rings. Oh, that's just uh, stickers. Let's see with this one. Okay. Um, all right. Trouble is, I don't think I have enough binder rings to do all the stuff I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and make some organization out of this mess and I'll uh, show you what I come up with in a minute. Okay guys, I'm uh, back with some more progress. So uh, from that chipboard uh, drawer, I had this um, tin with some assorted chipboard in it and that was the chipboard that was in it. I took it out of the tin and just put it in a baggie to give me some more space. So I went through uh, all the boy embellishments and so I um, kind of grouped it into various things and so I put all the kind of sports stuff together. Not that I have a lot of sports stuff, but then it's not in amongst the pile. I put all of the uh, You Rock and uh, Boys Rule collections from uh, Coco Vanilla all on one ring. Then I put all of uh, Zach's Life, the two different collections I have of that, all on one ring as well. And uh, these I'm going to put in a little baggie. These little baggies that you can get from uh, either your dollar store or uh, in the jewelry section at uh, Michael's or your other craft stores. Um, they're just small little bags, like what would they be? Like maybe two by three if that. So I'm going to put those in there because this is quite a bulky package. And then uh, I put the miscellaneous kind of didn't really have anything else with it except, you know, one thing um, together. I decided the chipboard that was in my drawer that was uh, boyish, I put it actually with the chipboard because rather than move all that chipboard that is boyish into this um, boy drawer, I'm just going to leave it with chipboard and I'm just going to put a note in the boy drawer that there is um, coordinating um, 
chipboard boy boy themed chipboard in um, my chipboard drawer. So then I just um, kind of just put all this kind of bulky uh, puffy stickers together and then um, kind of the ephemera. Does anyone remember these? These are like super old um, mistables, uh, just oddball uh, stickers. And then the longer um, uh, six by 12 stickers I put together and then at the very end I have a couple of baby items so those are all together um, and then I seem to have a lot of different just uh, oddball and metal things and so I'm going to put those together these are super old these are from AAM which I can't even remember what that's oh all my memories these are really old actually I think I tried to sell them at one point but um didn't have any takers so I uh, decided to keep those. I might even put these in a smaller bag as well just so to save room. These are super old. These are baby grommet words from Making Memories. Uh, recently purchased these. These are from Stamping Up. Uh, these are Prima. They're just kind of like rivets I guess or snaps. And then I just have some uh, I'm not sure if that is on there, a flare. Um, just some brads and flare, and then just a few little loose things. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers these. I've used a few of these in different projects. They're little, they look like little tags that you stick on, that are on the back of clothes, but this one is family, boy, and brothers. And then I just have some um, tickets here that are boy themed. So those are going to go on the side, and I just um, I just found this little container here to put it all in. Okay, so I am back with the progress of uh, organizing my Alex drawers, and this is my miscellaneous embellishment drawer. And I have a bunch of just random stuff in that drawer, and I'm going to kind of sort it, and then I'll come back and show you what I did with it, or... Um, and the sad thing is a lot of this stuff is new and hasn't even been used yet. So um, one of my goals this year is to use up some of this stuff. So I'll try and get a little more organized and I will come back with the progress of that. Okay, so I've kind of made a few piles here and I'll just kind of show you what I've done so far. So I have uh, these embellishments here and very few of them have been um, used. And I think part of the reason why is I'm not putting like product with like product. So when I look at these, I think like uh, just a little kind of added little thing you want to put at the end, which is kind of like enamel dots to me. So I'm going to put these with my enamel dots, these three here, and this one too, of course. Uh, this one here is kind of school themed, so I have a school themed... Um, bin so I'm going to put that with school themed. Um, these I have a, a an embellishment container. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. So I have one of uh, these big containers here. I have several of them that I put beads and stuff in but um, um, for little kind of knicky knack things um, and I've got charms I think I'm gonna put those in something like this so they will um, hopefully maybe get used um, and then these I'm going to put with my enamel dots um, storage and the, these as well and um, how I store my enamel dots is on binder rings and then I just have them um, on top of an Alex unit so they're easy to grab and I don't have to go digging for them. So that pile there, that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, these stickers here, I have a Jen Hadfield um, drawer so those will go with those. I have a bunch of stuff I'm going to give to my granddaughter. She started scrapbooking and um, she's uh, 10 so you know, I give her stuff from my stash and then I buy her a few things too. So there's these puppy stickers and then I have some random 
little um, titles and then a bunch of chipboard stickers that are kind of halfway used up. These canvas um, stickers, I think I got this in a lot with a bunch of other stuff at a crafty garage sale. Uh, these here, I'm going to give her this little random two sheets of stickers. I think we're also in that bag of stuff from the garage sale. So that is something I can get out of that drawer. So that's a good thing. Um, and then I had a few things that uh, probably fit more Valentine's. So they'll go um, with my Valentine um, stuff. And then these have a bunch of love kind of tags on them. So I'll put those with Valentine's as well. Then I have a, a few things where the packaging has ripped. So I'm going to repackage these into packaging that'll hold them and not fall over. These here I'm going to put in uh, just in a little bag and I'll cut off the little clip of what it is just so um, I know what company made it. And um, what else? Oh, then I kind of sorted uh, all my kind of dimensional stickers and thickers together. So, yeah, they're uh, kind of all together now. Those are like dollar store stickers and then these here. And then I'm going to put just random bags of ephemera that I have that um, aren't from a particular collection or these are ones that are from Alley. I'll put those on a binder clip. These are frames and uh, envelopes, so I'm going to put those together. And uh, then I have uh, a bunch of puppy stickers, but uh, they're smaller packages and like these little dimensional tags I bought at, um, I think I bought these at uh, Hobby Lobby this summer. So yeah, all those will go on uh, one ring. Yeah, so that and then um, any kind of flat kind of word label stickers I'm going to put together and these little bingo cards, I'll put those together on a ring. And then I think the only thing uh, I have left are, uh, I have these few little, uh, what do you call them? Um, these were cut from a silhouette and I bought them at a store and you, they're titles. And then these little kits that I bought from close to my heart that have like uh, random embellishments in them. These I'm going to take off the uh, thing and uh, put them in an embellishment box. And same with uh, these things here. And this as well. I'll get them out of the packaging and put them in one of those little embellishment box. I kind of have them, like I have clips together and different things, so I'll put them where they go accordingly. And then the only thing left are the kind of flat type stickers. So I have these hearts and some titles and then flat stickers. Yeah, so all those will go together. They're just kind of random and not to uh, any particular, uh, what do you call it, uh, collection. These I'm going to take out of this container and put it in just a bag. And then these are all tags, so I'll put those together on a clip. And then I think this box was in there as well. And this has... Uh, Again, a bunch of die cuts. So I will put those uh, on the clip with those other bags of die cuts and then these little brads. I think I will take those off of this and put it in a, that embellishment thing as well. And then I have this box of heart stickers. Okay, I think that's it. So I'll uh, get it all on clips and put it back in the drawer and show you how it looks. Thanks. Put the uh, those cute little bow clips in uh, this container here. It has a bunch of other paper clips in them, so I think if I store like with like, maybe maybe some of these will get used. So, and then I took those brads and I just uh, left them on the cardboard actually, and then just cut them into strips that would fit into here. And then those metal ones I took out of the foam, put in there, and I put those little hearts in there. 
and then the stars I added in there and I think that was it from the loose embellishments so yeah I think that'll be better uh, this is uh, like my Maggie Holmes pile of stuff and I actually have some more stuff that's going to be um, coming in the mail that I bought on um, in, through Instagram Maggie Holmes is really hard to find around here and uh, I just see so many videos and I jumped on that bandwagon of all the cute Maggie Holmes stuff. I did have a few things from back in the day. Like, does anyone remember these? Like, these are super old. <laughs> like, they're those transparencies. And then you put it over the picture and it kind of changes the color of it. I'm going to put these in a smaller thing, I think, though. Because it, it takes up a lot of room. So I think I'll put these, try to put these in some sort of bag or something if I can. Uh, so then I have a bunch of the trims. I got those at uh, Tuesday morning this summer. Try and put all those together. Um, I've got a few of her stamps. Um, I think I'll keep them with the Maggie Home stuff though. Um, and then I think I'll try to put these kind of embellishments like this together. Try to put the uh, stamps together. These I'm going to take out of the package and put in a baggie because they're kind of, I've tried to staple it, I've used a few out of there, but they're kind of fall out. And then these flatter type embellishments, like the washi and the rub-ons and anything that's kind of a label, I think I will stick together. And I think these I'm going to take out of the packaging and put in a baggie as well. It just, it takes up a lot of room in your drawer. Same with these. I'm going to try and put these in something that isn't so bulky. Um, what else? These, I don't think I can make these any less bulky, so I'll probably keep those in the package. And I have like tons of ephemera. Some of them are doubles. Um, this here, I think I'll take out of the package and uh, put in a little baggie. It's kind of bulky. And maybe even these two I'll put in a little baggie. It just adds less bulk to your drawer. Uh, then I have these trims. Oh, I think I showed you these. I showed you those trims, yeah. Um, then I just have a bunch of, um, what do you call it, thickers and stuff. So I'm going to maybe separate the thicker puffy stickers and chipboard from the flat ones and put those together. And yeah, and then oh, I got another one of these. I think, I don't know if this is Maggie Holmes or is it? It isn't, but I'm going to put it in the Maggie Holmes drawer. It's the same sort of thing. Okay, so I went through all the embellishments for Maggie Holmes and I uh, put like with like. So these are all the same uh, uh, from the same collection of uh, carousel. So I put all those together. Uh, put the stamps on a binder clip. I put all the kind of like puffy type stickers together. So those are all on a clip. I put these kind of more dimensional things on a clip. And then these are the puffy uh, 6x12 stickers and the chipboard stickers. And then um, these two kind of uh, pre-made embellishments. And then these are all the uh, word stickers. So I've got those on a clip. This has the 6x12 flat stickers, and I put the different uh, doubles or collections together within the clip. And then some washi and rub-ons. I separated the two trims, so they're on their own separate binder clips. Uh, this is uh, ephemera that are just kind of oddball ones. And these are ones that I have the same of, so I put those on a clip. I decided to keep these in the packaging since putting them in a bag isn't going to really save much for packaging. So I just clipped the two tassels together and I just have a loose sticker book. And then I took all of those uh, things out of the packages. So these kind of overlays, put those in baggies, the chipboard. And then I took, I cut out the packaging so I know what collections it's from and what is in the baggie and same with uh or did i maybe i didn't do it with these no i didn't do it with these uh 
And then I um, took that random little box of embellishments from Confetti and just took it out of the big, thicker container and put it in a little baggie and then just put the what it was from in the back there. And then these are really old uh, frames. They're kind of like a canvas material. So I cut out the packaging, put it in there, and then same with the tags.